Hello and welcome to my channel, Kromos here. Today I am bringing you the Old One Terror. This is a warlock specialized in critical hits and attacking with advantage. The levels in Champion Fighter will grant us solid defenses and better chance to score a critical hit. If you like big crit numbers on the screen and solid spells, then this is for you. Before I introduce the build summary as usual, I will start very shortly a challenge run in this channel. The subscribers of the channel had the chance to vote between three different challenges, and their preference was a hardcore run. This means that if the four party members are dead at the same time, their run will be over. No saves coming allowed, of course. Since I do not want to fail miserably, I am doing some planning and considering which four builds I want to bring to the table. I will do another survey to see which build you want to choose for our TAF. So if you want to participate, you know what you have to do. The Old One Terror is the build that I have prepared for Will for this hardcore run. For this build, we will start with a single leveling fighter, getting access to medium armor and shield, that will be our preferred fighting style. Also, we will have solid concentration saving throws, which is important since we are going to rely heavily on concentration spells to control the battlefield. Keep in mind we will be mainly a ranged caster warlock. From level 2, we are going to get 5 levels in the warlock class, the Great Old One. This means that when we critically hit, the enemy must succeed a wisdom saving throw or become frightened. This way, they will not be able to move, so they will be easy to hit with our Eldritch Blasts. After this, we will level 2 more times in Fighter to choose our subclass, Champion. This will increase further our chance to score a critical hit. We will combine this with the feat Spell Sniper, plus other items to further increase our chance to critically hit. We will be casting Darkness, Hunger of Hadar, and Everts Black Tentacles to delay our enemies. The build is then closed, choosing the remaining levels as a Warlock, ending the build as a Champion 3 Warlock 9. Although I was also considering Champion 4, Warlock 8, to get access to a third feat. Kindly read the description of this video to understand my thought process and some considerations for these guides. Without delay, let's begin. We start our adventure as a fighter, getting access to Second Wind. Our fighting style is going to be Defense, since we will most of the time be casting spells. For our abilities we are going to have 14 dexterity for being able to use medium armor and 16 constitution and charisma to have excellent concentration and spell casting. At level 2 we will multi-class into warlock getting the cantrip eldritch blast and some level 1 spells like hellish rebuke and witch bolt. Our subclass will be the great old one to get mortal reminder. This means that when we get a critical hit, the enemies will have to pass a wisdom saving throw or become frightened. At Warlock level 2 we will get our Eldritch Invocation. We're going to get Agonizing Blast to add our Charisma modifier to the damage of Eldritch Blast and Devil's Sight to be able to see in the darkness even magical. At Warlock level 3, besides getting the Darkness spell, we get our Pact Boom and we will go with Pact of the Chain, although I was also considering Pact of the Tome as a very solid alternative. Make sure you replace spells as you see fit, and then we move on into the next level. At level 4 we will get another level 2 spell, I think Cloud of Daggers is a very solid alternative, hold person as well, and then we get access to our first feat. At this point we will get Ability Improvement Charisma. Keep in mind, since we are character level 5, our Eldritch Blast has improved and now it will be 2 beams instead of 1. At level 5 we get access to level 3 spells. Our choice here will be Hunger of Hadar, since it combines well with our kit. We get another Eldritch Invocation, we can get Knockback for our Eldritch Blast, Invisibility or Fiendish Vigor, since extra hit points are interesting for a hardcore run. On top of this, at Warlock level 5, our Pact becomes deepened. And since we have Pact of the Chain, our little Quasit will have an additional attack. We change our Cloud of Daggers for Hypnotic Pattern for a stronger effect and we move on into the next level. At this point our capabilities as a Warlock feel very complete. 
So I decide to move on and progress a couple levels into the fighter class so we get our improved critical hit. After testing the build for the next level, I think it's a little bit better to get a fourth level in fighter. So at this point in the game you get your second feat, which I think it is vital to keep a steady progression. So we can have Spell Sniper as the second feat to further improve our critical hit. And then later we finish the build as a Warlock 8 and we get another plus 2 Charisma, which I think I was a bit lacking when I did the combat. But still, if you want to get level 5 Warlock spells, Warlock 9 Champion 3 is the way to go. We also get another Eldritch Invocation at this point. There are many great choices. I decided to go with one with Shadows, but feel free to choose whatever fits your playstyle as well. At character level 10, we get our second level 4 spell. I decide to go for some utility, like Dimension Door, and then we get the second feat in this case, that would be Spell Sniper, and we get to choose one cantrip here. I think the best choice is Shocking Grasp, because it will be many times where you will be in melee, and most of the time you will have advantage, since enemies are usually medium or heavy armored. We get to choose one level 5 spell. I went for Telekinesis, but you can also select Hold Monster. And we get to choose a very strong Eldritch Invocation that is called Minions of Chaos. That will basically we will be able to Conjure Elemental as a level 5 spell. Now, as usual, I will show you which items I will use for the combat showcase. Now, I must say, I do not have the best items to showcase this build because there are many other items that will give you increased critical hit chance. I will add a list of all the items that can improve this build in the comment section. Now gentle reminder, this character, this build, is thought to be played on the hardcore because it's made for a specific purpose, that is to have a solid tanky backlane that can deal decent damage while also having excellent armor class and toughness. With this character I only have two spell slots, so if I do as usual, like I would bait his counter spell and then cast a spell, I will not be able to showcase pretty much anything, so I just decided to blast her face and then I just proceed to show, for example, Hunger of Hader. So basically enemies will be blinded and they will receive cold damage when they start their turn inside the area. They will receive acid damage when they end their turn in there. The dwarf as usual wants to be in the spot and even with this advantage and a crazy armor class he still managed to hit us several times because simply put he is a chat right? So what is good about this gameplay is that we can enter into the area shoot at people with Eldritch Blast, because we are not blinded, and then leave the area. So we can kite them and they will be slowed and they will be suffering massive damage while we take pretty much anything. Another strong spell that we can utilize is Everts Black Tentacles. So this spell is very solid with this build. As you can see here, the enemies get completely immobilized and they will take damage every turn until they pass a strength saving throw. So we can just shoot at them freely without any concern. I'm also wearing, as you can see, the medium armor that gives me advantage in constitution saving throws. So my spell, it's very likely that will be maintained so I can develop my gameplay without many surprises. And the rest of the combat, well, Slowly but surely I chip down these enemies without many concerns. Let me know in the comments what you think of this build. I must say I'm very excited to start these challenge runs. I just want to do my best and make sure I do not die. I hope I have sufficient expertise to make it happen on the first try. But of course I would not be surprised if I wipe the whole party, right? I mean, it could happen.
As usual, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and see you in the next one. Adios.